Ray Strand is a physician who has been involved in a private family practice for over 35 years. The past 15 years, he has focused his practice on nutritional and preventative medicine. He is the author of several best-selling books, including Healthy for Life, Death by Prescription, Bionutrition, and What Your Doctor Doesn't Know About Nutritional Medicine, which has now been translated into over 15 different languages. He has lectured across the United States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Singapore, and Malaysia, and is quickly becoming one of the world's leading authorities on nutritional and preventative medicine. Now, here is Dr. Ray Strand. Hello, my name is Dr. Ray Strand. I have been involved in a private family practice now for well over 35 years. However, during the past 15 years, I have focused my practice on preventive and nutritional medicine. When I graduated from the University of Colorado Medical School way back in 1971 and received my MD degree, I thought I had become that true healthcare expert I always wanted to be. However, after practicing traditional medicine for over 23 years, I realized that I was really a disease care expert. Yes, I was very good at diagnosing and treating disease. However, I knew very little about actually preventing disease in my patients. Even what I was calling preventive medicine was really just about trying to find early signs of disease. When I would do a complete history and physical along with lab work in my patients, I was always looking for that silent high blood pressure or early diabetes or elevated cholesterol. When I was doing a pap smear or PSA, flexible sigmoidoscopy or mammogram, I was really just looking for early signs of cancer. If I didn't find any disease, I would just tell my patients they were healthy and out the door they went. However, in 1995, my wife, who had been struggling with fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue for years, came down with a very serious pneumonia. Even though we were able to clear that pneumonia, she was left with a very serious chronic fatigue. In fact, she was only able to get out of bed about one hour each day. This continued month after month after month. In spite of seeing four different specialists who had placed her on nine different prescription medications, there is nothing harder for a physician to deal with than to not be able to help their own spouse when they're suffering from an illness. It was at this time that someone brought some nutritional supplements over to my wife and recommended that she try them because they had helped her husband recover from a pneumonia he had suffered. My wife knew that I did not believe in nutritional supplements and that I had always told my patients that all they did was just create expensive urine. However, when she asked me that night if she could try them, I answered with a resounding yes because what we had been trying was failing miserably. To my amazement, my wife began seeing improvements within the first week of taking those supplements. And within the first month, she was actually off all nine prescription medications. Within the first year, she was better than she'd been in the past 10 years. Then one of my greatest fears hit me. Did she regain her health because of vitamins? I had been doing everything I could to get my patients off supplements for the past 23 years. Was I wrong? I had received very little training in nutrition and absolutely no training in nutritional supplementation when I was attending medical school. However, after seeing this truly amazing recovery in my wife, I felt that I needed to go back to the medical literature and see if I could find any evidence that my patients could receive health benefits by taking high quality nutritional supplements. Now I have spent the past 15 years researching the medical literature in regards to the health benefits from taking nutritional supplements. In this video, I want to give you an overview of what I have learned and give you a better understanding how you can better protect your health or even regain your health if you've already lost it. First, I need to talk to you about the concept of oxidative stress. Even though oxygen is necessary for life itself, it is inherently dangerous for our existence. You see, in the process of utilizing oxygen within the battery of your cell to create energy and life itself, you also create a byproduct referred to as a free radical. Free radicals are essentially charged oxygen molecules that are missing at least one unpaired electron in its outer orbit, and they desire to get that missing electron from the surrounding tissue. If it is not readily neutralized by an antioxidant, which has the ability to give this free radical the electron it desires, 
It can go on to create more volatile free radicals, damage the cell wall, vessel wall, proteins, fats, and yes, even the DNA nucleus of the cell. So the same process that turns a cut apple brown or rust metal is causing you to rust inside. In fact, the medical literature now shows us that over 70 chronic degenerative diseases are the result of this process. Now these are diseases like coronary artery disease, cancer, diabetes, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's dementia, arthritis, macular degeneration, MS, lupus, and the list goes on and on. The key principle that I have learned over the years is the fact that it's all about balance. The number of free radicals you and I produce is not steady. In other words, some days you produce more than other days. Because of our stressful lifestyles, our polluted environment, and over-medicated society, this generation must deal with more free radicals than any previous generation that has ever walked the face of this earth. If you want to prevent oxidative stress, you need to have more antioxidants available than the free radicals you're producing. You see, we are not defenseless against this process. Antioxidants and their supporting nutrients are the answer. However, the question I had to ask myself was could we get all the antioxidants we need from our diet alone? After all, this is what I had been telling my patients for the past 23 years. This research led to the writing of several books like Bionutrition and What Your Doctor Doesn't Know About Nutritional Medicine, which has now been translated into over 15 different languages. In these books, I shared the medical evidence that demands a verdict should you be taking nutritional supplements. The conclusion that I came to was the fact that everyone should be consuming high quality, complete and balanced nutritional supplements along with eating a healthy diet and having a consistent exercise program. I learned that the best defense against developing any of these chronic degenerative diseases was not in the drugs I could prescribe, but instead in optimizing our body's natural defense systems. The key in my approach to nutritional medicine is the fact that the problem is not a nutritional deficiency, but instead it is oxidative stress. Now I want to share with you my concept of cellular nutrition. You see, cellular nutrition would be defined as providing all of these micronutrients to the cell at their optimal or advanced levels. Now those are the levels that have been shown to provide a health benefit in our medical literature not the RDA levels I was taught was adequate in medical school. You see, RDAs were developed back in the late 30s, early 40s as that minimal amount of nutrient necessary to avoid what we refer to as acute deficiency diseases like pellagra or scurvy or rickets. RDAs have done their job. We don't really have to deal with these diseases much today. However, when you study the medical literature, you quickly realize that RDAs have absolutely nothing to do with chronic degenerative diseases. It is important to be eating a healthy diet and getting in your eight to 10 servings of fruits and vegetables each and every day. However, we are just not able to obtain the optimal levels that we need of these nutrients in, in our diet alone to combat these free radicals that we're producing. Therefore, we all need to be supplementing a healthy diet. Now, cellular nutrition, as detailed in my books, has been shown in our medical literature to build up our body's natural immune system, our natural antioxidant defense system, and our natural repair system. You not only replenish any nutritional deficiency within six months of supplementation, but you also optimize all of the body's micronutrients and natural defense systems. You are giving yourself the absolute best chance to reverse or prevent oxidative stress and to protect your health. You see, nutritional supplementation is really about health, not disease. However, what if you have already lost your health and have developed one of these chronic degenerative diseases? Does supplementation provide any hope? Well, this is the question that I had to answer for myself and for my patients. As I mentioned earlier, this has been my focus of my medical practice now for the past 15 years and why I have developed my online medical practice which focuses on nutritional and preventive medicine and is located at www.raystrand.com. The medical literature has shown me over and over again 
that those patients who are already suffering from a chronic degenerative disease, like rheumatoid arthritis or multiple sclerosis or diabetes, actually have significantly more free radicals and oxidative stress than the normal healthy patient. Cellular nutrition is generally adequate to bring oxidative stress back under control in someone who is in excellent health. However, it would not be enough supplementation to bring oxidative stress back under control in someone who is already suffering from one of these chronic degenerative diseases. It became very apparent to me early on that if you were going to have any chance of improving someone's health who has already been suffering from cancer or heart disease, macular degeneration, MS, fibromyalgia, lupus, and other degenerative diseases, I would have to be more aggressive in fighting this oxidative stress. Once my patients were consuming my recommendations for cellular nutrition, I simply began adding enhancers to their nutritional supplement regime. I began looking for those most potent antioxidants that were available. Now grapeseed extract, which is one of my favorite, was found to be 50 times more potent than vitamin E and 20 times more potent than vitamin C at handling oxidative stress when added to this cellular nutrition. CoQ10 was also another very important antioxidant that I found significantly boost not only our natural immune system and help provide increased energy for cell function, but also was a great antioxidant. Other nutrients like glucosamine sulfate, sal palmetto, phytonutrients, additional vitamin E and vitamin D, calcium, magnesium, and various illnesses produced amazing results. Over the past 15 years, I have learned how to best support my patients' natural defenses and allow them the absolute best chance to take back control of their health. You will not find this information in any textbook. It has simply come from my clinical experience in dealing with my patients. Again, it is all about balance. By combining cellular nutrition with specific enhancers, I give my patients the best chance of bringing oxidative stress back under control, and this is my entire goal. Then, and only then, do they have a chance of seeing their health improve. The results that I have seen in my medical practice using these principles have been nothing short of amazing, and something that I had never witnessed in my first 23 plus years of medical practice. Now I want to share a couple of precautions that I've learned along the way. First, nutritional medicine is not like taking drugs. It takes a minimum of six months to build up your body's natural defenses, and many of my ill patients did not even begin to see any improvements in their health until after six months of starting their supplementation. Now, not everyone responds to my recommendations, however, it has been my clinical experience that the majority of my patients have had significant health improvements when they followed my specific recommendations and used the specific products I recommend in my clinical practice. None of my patients were cured of their underlying illness. My wife still has fibromyalgia. However, she has her life back and is living a very normal active life. Nutritional supplementation is not an alternative or a substitute for traditional medical care. It is complementary. You should never quit taking any medications prescribed by your doctor without his or her consent and direction. Now, many of my patients who have chosen to try my nutritional supplement recommendations have actually been able to decrease their dependence on medication, and in some cases, even discontinue some of their medication. However, this has always been the result of a positive health response to the nutritional supplementation and has been done under the direction of their personal physician. It is my mission to share these health concepts and help as many people as I can. This is why I have developed my online medical practice at raystrand.com. Members have access to my specific recommendations for over a hundred different diseases. Many of these recommendations have also been translated into French and Spanish. Members also have the opportunity to personally consult me via an email or a phone consult at a very reasonable charge. You will always receive my bi-monthly newsletter and health nuggets, which share the health benefits of taking high quality, complete and balanced nutritional supplements. Now, I can't replace your personal physician. However, I certainly can consult you and guide you 
into preventive and nutritional medicine and in regards to the best way to protect or maintain your health, or if you've already lost it, the best way to try to regain your health. I would encourage you to take advantage and join my online medical practice and learn for yourself the best way you can protect or regain your health. It has always been my desire to be that true healthcare professional you can trust.